Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss Design and Analysis of Algorithm BDU Model Question Paper 2024 Solution. Question number 9b. What is backtracking? Apply backtracking to solve the below instance of some of the subset problem. Here they have given a subset. So for this subset, we need to find a sum. That the sum is nothing but d equal to 30. So we need to apply a backtracking technique to solve the subset sum problem and find the sum 30. It is a 10 mark question. So what I mean by backtracking? Backtracking is a systematic method of searching solutions to combinatorial problems. Combinatorial problems are the most difficult problems to find the exact solution. Most probably we won't get exact solution, only a approximate solution we can able to derive. And the problems with exponential time complexity, this is also a difficult problem. These difficult problems we can able to solve by applying backtracking technique. The idea of backtracking is select one component at a time and evaluate partially constructed solution. That is with this one component, we can able to derive a partially constructed solution. So every step we need to select one component and derive the partially constructed solution. Suppose if the partially constructed solution can proceed to provide feasible solution without violating problem constraint. That is what are all the rules to solve the problem without violating the rules we can able to derive the feasible solution in the sense we can proceed with this partially constructed solution. Okay. Suppose if there are no legitimate option if you are continuing with this partially constructed solution there is no legitimate option to derive the feasible solution. No legitimate option for next level component. Then backtrack to the previous component. Okay. Every step you are selecting only one component. Suppose if it is not possible to derive the feasible solution. Backtrack to the previous step by leaving the next level component. Backtrack to the previous step and check for the other possibilities. Okay. Suppose if other possibilities or alternatives if you are including. If it proceeds to provide feasible solution, continue with that. Okay, this procedure continues until you solve the complete problem. So here, finally, in this backtracking technique, either you will get a feasible solution or sometimes some problems, we cannot able to derive the solution at all. That is also possible. Okay, so once you got the feasible solution, you can stop. Suppose in the question itself, if they have asked find all the feasible solution in the sense you have to solve the complete problem and provide the complete solution okay otherwise one feasible solution is enough no need to proceed to the next level if you got the feasible solution you can stop but most probably in exams the subset sum problem and all it is a very smaller problem so try to provide all the feasible solutions so this is nothing but backtracking so now we will apply the backtracking concept to solve the subset sum problem and here they have given the subset and we need to find this sum. So what do you mean by backtracking? Every level we need to select only one component. So first level if you are considering in the sense, that is initial solution if you are considering in the sense, consider zero. This is the zeroth level. Consider the feasible solution we will start with zero. Okay. And every step we need to select only one component. So here in this subset, the first two component is five. So, we will select this first component and how we will construct the subset sum problem. This is the state space tree we need to construct. So, this is nothing but state space tree. So, backtracking in all the concepts, we will implement state space tree to solve the problems. Okay. So, here we will consider the first component. If you are adding the first component, that is with 5 in the sense, what is the solution you will get? 0 plus 5, you will get it as 5, right? And without 5 in the sense, what is the solution? It is 0 only. Okay, if you are adding this component, you will get 5. Solution is 5. If you are not adding this component, you will get 0 only. Okay, so every step we will consider one component at a time. If you are adding this component, what is the solution? If you are not adding this component, what is the solution? Likewise, we need to construct the state space tree. And we will try to find the sum. Suppose in any of the states, if the partially constructed solution exceeds the sum in the sense, you can stop there. No need to proceed to the next level because if you are proceeding in that level, we won't get the feasible solution. Already it exceeds the feasible solution. Okay, in that case, you can stop. 
okay otherwise till you have not reached the sum in the sense you can proceed to next level okay and try to find the feasible solution okay so now first component we have done second component is 10 so both the subtrees you need to add this component you need to check for this component so with 10 what is the output and without 10 what is the output you will get it so with the 10 in the sense what is the sum you will get 10 plus 5 you will get it as 15 without 10 in the sense you will get 5 only here okay similarly this side also with 10 and without 10 so always the left subtree if you are considering in the sense it is with that particular component and right subtree if you are considering in the sense without that particular component without considering that particular component what is the sum so here with the 10 in the sense 0 plus 10 you will get it as 10 without 10 it is 0 only next two component is 12 so with the 12 what is the output without 12 what is the output okay with the 12 in the sense 15 plus 12 you will get it as 27 and without 12 in the sense you will get 15 only okay and here with the 12 in the sense you will get it as 17 and without 12 in the sense you will get it as 5 only similarly for this also with the 12 without 12 you need to consider with the 12 it is 22 without 12 it is 10 only and here with the 12 it is 12 0 plus 12 it is 12 without 12 it is 0 1 2. okay next consider 13 next component so with the 13 what is the output with the 13 in the sense you will get it as 40 the solution you will get it as 40 it is a dead end because if you are proceeding to the next level you won't get the feasible solution it will exceed 40 in the sense next level if you are adding it will exceed only you won't get 30 so this is a dead end okay next without 13 in the sense it, you will get 27 only okay all the levels with 13 and without 13 you have to add okay with 13 in the sense it is 28 and without 13 in the sense you will get 15 only and here also with the 13 without 13 so with the 13 you will get it as 30 so this is actually the solution part you got the solution so suppose if you are providing to the next level it is not possible to get the feasible solution it is a dead end you can stop there and if you got the solution also you you can stop there no need to proceed to the next level then without 13 in the sense you will get 17 only and here with 13 you will get 18 and without 13 you will get 5 only okay similarly here with 13 you will get 35 and this is a dead end no need to proceed okay and without 13 if you are considering in the sense it is 22 only okay and next with 13 it is 23 without 13 it is 10 only and here with 13 it is 25 without 13 it is 12 only and here with 13 it is 13 without 13 is 0 1 okay now this component is over next component if you are considering it is 15 so here this is 40 greater than 30 so we are stopping we are considering this as a dead end okay and here with the 15 in the sense next level if you are constructing in the sense with the 15 in the sense it is with the 15 you will get it as 42 and this is a dead end okay and without 15 if you are considering in the sense it is 27 you will get it okay and 28 here with the 15 it is 43 so this is a dead end and without 15 in the sense you will get it as 28 only okay and here with 15 you will get solution 30 so this is a solution part without 15 you will get 15 only and here already we got the solution no need to proceed to the next level and here with 15 in the sense you will get it as 32 and and without 15 in the sense you will get 17 only here with 15 you will get it as 30 3 and without 15 you will get it as 18 only and here with 15 you will get it as 
20 and without 15 you will get it as 5 only okay and here this is a dead end no need to proceed and here with 15 you will get it as 37 and this is a dead end no need to proceed without 15 you will get 22 only okay and here with the 15 you will get 38 this is a dead end okay and without 15 it is 23 only and here with the 15 it is 25 without 15 it is 10 okay and here with the 15 it is 40 this is a dead end and without 15 it is 25 only and here with the 15 it is 27 and without 15 it is 12 only and here with the 15 it is 28 without 15 it is 13 only okay and here with the 15 it is 15 and without 15 it is 0 only and here we got two solution one here and one more here and next if you are considering the next level component 18 construct the next level state space free whether there is a possibility to get feasible solution see here with 18 you will get 30 so this is a feasible solution okay this solution you will get it here and without 18 in the sense 12 only next level with this component 18 construct the state space free and if you are constructing most of the cases you will get dead end and here you will get the solution okay so here if you are considering there are three solutions one here next one here and next one here and then what is the solution part here in the sense solution one if you are considering in the sense it is with the five here it is there okay so with the five and with the 12 with the 13 so here 5 plus 12 plus 13 you will get it as 30 sum you have to get it d equal to 30 you have to get it okay so this is first solution and second solution here if you are considering with the 5 and with the 10 okay with the 5 with the 10 and then here with the 15 okay so solution 2 the subset you will get it as with the 5 with the 10 and with the 15 you will get the second solution okay it is 30 you will get it and the third solution if you are considering in the sense here you got it okay so here this is without without so here it is without without with 12 and with 18 so 12 plus 18 you will get it as 30 this is the third solution so there are three solutions possible so with this given subset and sum okay you need to construct the complete state space tree so if it is a lengthy state space tree in the sense only last level just to provide the solution part wherever solution obtained that state space tree you constructed since this is a bigger one okay and here three solutions is possible for this given subset sum problem with sum d equal to 30 okay thank you for watching this video